three, two, one. <laughs> We have several missions lined up for you, all funded by GreenManGaming.com, who are down by the link in the description of the video. Right then, here's the plan. Over in that direction is the Drez Canyon. Now we are going to attempt to drive into it today, using the two smart. See if we could get some science out of it, and then we will call this mission a roaring success. We could officially close the book on Drez and head home. Okay, so I got us some road trip music, and hopefully this thing does not tip over. <laughs> okay. So... With the success of the Drez mission and the remarkable efficiency of the new Pinnacle engine, um, the uh, Odyssey project can enter phase two. Now that we've perfected the rocket, we can proceed with conquering the solar system. The goal here is to put a flag on every planet and every moon. Which means our next operation is going to be the Bopple mission. Which is a attempt to send a mission to bop and pull in a single outing. We've already designed the lander. We just need to hope that it can handle it. Now I also have some rover autopilot here. We're just going to use speed control. Uh, speed control. Okay, for some reason it feels the need to speed up. Uh, two. Why are you doing this to me? Ugh. See, now we're just going too fast. Hit the... Uh, Jofty, for the love of God! I know you're a speed demon, but hit the brakes! Uh, we're not even going the right way. My goal is to drive directly down into the canyon. That's the plan, anyway. We're gonna see what happens with it, though. I'm also trying to figure out how we get the ground textures to not look like crap no more. It's probably something in the settings. Uh, um... Speed... Okay, now, see, that's working. Maybe it's like, let's try 0.5. Maybe it's going by like a factor of 10. No, 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 it is not. Okay. Try 0.1. No, it just feels the need to constantly speed, damn it. Like we could turn it off, but then that wouldn't give us any speed control at all, and we are airborne! Ugh. Like, I get it, you guys are the only ones on Drez, but you need to watch your speed regardless. Also, we can still hear that damn science equipment! My god, it's loud! <sighs> Driving. Remember when we did those Euro Truck videos and we would, uh, drive forever? Also, we're rendering a video right now, and that's why you're getting this frame rate. Jeez, that's kind of loud. It's supposed to be, like, background music. It's very loud. Slow your roll there, but Oh, boy. Speaking of rolling... And they have fallen out of the car. And the arm shattered into a million pieces! Well, that's worth a reload. 
Damn it, guys! Uh... Yeah, okay, load the persistent. God knows how far back this is gonna be. Hopefully it's like right where we started. Stand by. Okay, so we just lost about five minutes worth of driving, but hey, we're off. Okay, so we're gonna have some uh, rover stability control active on this thing. Also, we are absolutely going to maintain speed because I did not know that something that beefy was going to shatter into a billion pieces on one flip over. Jesus, like normally, Too Smart is an extremely durable vehicle. That arm is not durable, my god. It's the least durable thing on the rover right now. Frankly, I cannot believe how breakable it actually is. Uh, I have relayed this uh, update on the arm's status to the boardroom. And I'm going to consider maybe a smaller arm for the next outing. Because remember, we had that smaller one on Duna. We had the smallest arm. That didn't break. But then again, I don't know how many times we actually flipped that thing over. Maybe we, like, flipped it a lot. That was a while ago, though. Hmm... It seems to be maintaining pretty good speed right now, though. Try to keep it at 5, though. See, because if we go 5, barely any air right there. Perfect. I mean, this is a reasonable speed. Look at that. It's reasonable. So the first thing you'll notice about Drez is that the textures here are... Pretty much the same as the mun. No, 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 no. This planet was supposed to get uh, new HD textures, but as you can tell, we're not seeing that. They definitely upgraded the textures for this planet, though. I'm gonna have a look uh, and see if there's a way to enable those. I already looked through the graphics settings. Nothing. They've been showing off new planetary textures and everything. Drez was one of them. Moho was another one that got an update. I think the Mun got new textures. I could be wrong about the Mun, but it'd be, it'd be nice to have new updated Mun textures. Oh, God. Trying to think what else. I think Tylo got new textures. Okay, this is pretty bad looking drop here. Stand by. Stand by. Yeah, this does not look fun. Ugh. That's a big hill. Maintain speed at let's go 4.5. Yeah, around that range. 4.4 to 4.6 around there just until we get down this hill we're just being careful here see because it really wants to speed up right now and we got to make sure that arm survives to see another rock and I don't mean the rocks around us those are meteors I've yet to see an actual boulder out here. Unless that's one. Nope, that's part of the terrain. Damn it! Uh. Here's the thing, too. We can see our destination way over there. That's the fun part of this video. Is that we can see our destination. It's in between these two hills, but it's so far away. Our journey today will take us 
across this, past this canyon, all the way into the equatorial Drez Canyon. Which is a very large, it's the most distinct feature here, which is why we landed close to it. It was one of our uh, chosen destinations. For the Bopple mission, we don't really have anything we, anything special planned in terms of landing sites or anything. Tylo is a different story. I have to decide an entirely new lander for Tylo. Tylo is a pain in the ass. It has about one point uh, eight G's, which is almost curb in gravity, but it has no atmosphere to help us slow down. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Duna was easy compared to, um, compared to Tylo. Everything's easy compared to Tylo. The only thing harder than Tylo is Eve. Unless you're landing on Kerbin and then taking off again for some reason. Why you would do this, I don't know. There might be some people who would do it, though. Land on Kerbin, mine your fuel there, and then take off again. Mine your fuel on Kerbin. We're getting some frame rate on this video, I know. That's because I have a video rendering in the background. But all we really have going on in this video is a too smart rover. And once the main ship gets out of range we're not gonna have that either it's a two kilometer render distance hasn't died yet we can still hear the damn thing Jeb is standing there waiting for us to return return with more rocks But yeah, phase two of the Odyssey project. Kerbal Odyssey project. This is a drop. It's precious cargo, this arm. We have now determined that as precious cargo. <laughs> like, think of it like you're hauling a nuclear warhead. And if you drop it, that's bad. Because it's a nuclear warhead. <sighs> What's a fun story about nukes in space? It was the Orion Project. Not the piece of crap rocket that NASA's building right now, which is underfunded and over budget along with the SLS. But, or, but Project Orion was the idea of propelling uh, rockets via a series of nuclear explosions behind the ship. And let me tell you, that thing went, went fast. Like, like, pr like projected uh, estimates for speed? That thing was freaking fast. Um, but then uh, nuclear testing regulations came in and shut that down pretty quickly. Lame, I know. We would have been, uh halfway to Pluto by now if they didn't shut that project down then you got dumb stuff going on in the space community like the uh, the EM drive which uh, well for lack of a better word doesn't work the EM drive doesn't work it's basically a big joke at this point, is that the EM drive was going to be this revolutionary new thing. What the hell is going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This has never happened before. Uh... Well, that is a stupidly catastrophic failure right there. What the hell? We were halfway to the... Now we gotta drive that whole distance again! You piece of shit. 
Ugh. Loading. This is one day ago. All right, let me try loading the persistent. Hope to God it didn't have time to save. Okay, so the persistent didn't have it and this is like right before the landing. Oh, good, good, good golly God. Ugh. I really didn't want to have to land this thing again. But we don't have any earlier saves. Go ahead, start burning. Wait a minute. Technically, I've already saved, which means... You gotta be kidding me, this is still broken. Let's see if we can adjust our landing site ever so slightly. Keep us retrograde, that's normally how we're gonna be able to do this. All right. We'll come down a little bit closer to the canyon this time. Go ahead and bring us down to 180. Altitude is 8,000, actually. We need to burn now. Seven thousand coming down at one hundred. Take it easy, try not to burn everything. Six thousand coming down at ninety-five. Five thousand coming down at eighty-eight. much gonna get the same landing site as last time, actually. Extend legs. Stupid. Why did it do that? You know what, let me focus on landing right now. I will vent my frustration once we're on the ground. We're gonna try to maintain this velocity. Oh yeah, that's pretty, pretty close to perfect, honestly. We're still lowering our speed and we're coming in, coming in now. Bringing us down to 18 meters per second. Slowing. The goal is to get below 12, preferably even less than that. We just started going back up. That's the last thing we need. Gotta find the sweet spot right here. Yeah, 
We are at 250 meters coming down very gently. Retrograde, please. We just went above our speed projections. The landing site here looks flatter. Easy now. Easy. Flat. Shut down. Very nice. Way less tilted. WHY DID THE ROVER CRASH? I'M ANGRY! Okay, I got the damn camp set up, but I absolutely refuse to go driving without... ...finishing the video render. Because... I have reason to believe that's partly what screwed us up. Because that uses a lot of processing power, and when the computer has way less processing power, it tends to do funny shit. So, while I wait for that, I'm gonna do my taxes. I'm not even kidding. Uh, okay, then we ran into recording problems for about an eternity. But finally, we're ready to go. Okay, so, uh... Control... Brakes. Alright, why isn't this working? Motors. Uh, the motors are on. For some reason, the steering isn't working now. Ugh. We're never gonna get to this canyon, are we? Try turning SIS off. It doesn't need a signal. Give me a minute. Ugh. Okay, so I uh, reloaded the I've reloaded the um, the craft by going back to the space center. Look, the wheels inexplicably work now. <sighs> okay, now we're off. For realsies. Right after a very quick save, because I will be screwed if I have to land again. Alright, I will rip my hair out. That is what I will do. Okay, just making sure we're going the right way. We, our new landing site is in, it's, 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 it might as well be a crater, might as well. It's a bit of a divot more than anything else, but it's, it's our new landing site. It's our new home for the next, I don't know, week or so, depending on how long we, uh, depending on how long we sit around here. Either way, uh... Space Command wants this mission done because, holy shit, uh, we have been here too long. Also, the Bopple mission is uh, in the final planning stages, which means we're going to have to uh, get back to Kerbin here pretty soon so that we can go, fo so that we can, uh, go forth with the bopple plans. Now uh, we're gonna try this again. See if we can maintain speed of 4.5. Hey, look at you. It's working today. All right. Thank God. Uh, cause, I, Cause I was gonna, I don't know. I was probably gonna break open one of these guys' helmets if it didn't work today. <laughs> All right, so our objective, once again, for those of you who may have forgotten, is the canyon. The most discernible physical feature on the surface of Drez, aside from maybe that crater. 
but there's no way I'm going to that crater because that's really far away and I don't want to go over there. So instead, we're heading off to the canyon. And there is, and the canyon is one of the main reasons why we chose this landing site was so that we could go into the canyon. And that is our plan today is to drive into the canyon. We could probably go faster than this, but at this point, I don't trust the car not to clip through the terrain. Looking at the faces on these two, I don't think they trust it either. <laughs> I mean, Sambi and Jofki here, they're like, uh, 10 and 2. Gotta watch our speed even though we're the only ones on Drez. <laughs> Who thought that this would be a great idea? So, I got that new graphics card coming in, and I'm hoping that with the new graphics card, we'll be able to get truly good-looking terrain. Because right now, I think everything is just stretched. That or something didn't install properly in the terrain texture files. All right, we're going up at basically a 45 degree angle. Fun times, fun times. We're still getting good speed out of it. Fun times, fun times. Once we uh, get up and over uh, the lip here, we should be able to spot the, wait, that's a crater. All right. Side objective, we're heading for that crater. Very carefully. All right, slower down. Just careful on the tops of the hills here. Because that arm is super breakable. I got a tiny bit of air on the front tires there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tiny bit of air. But th I do want to find some way to make the rover heavier for these low gravity planets. Weigh it down somehow. Maybe with like a big tank of ore. And we call that the too smart heavyweight or something along those lines. Forgive me if I already talked about some of this stuff in uh, the earlier parts of the video, but that was recorded a really long time ago, and I could not be bothered to watch that failure again. Are we almost to that big crater? Eh, could be a lot closer. I think, honestly, we landed over here before, and, or did we? We were able to make a straight jump into one of these two canyons. I know that. No, we were in this general area. I think we were actually over here somewhere. We're still in pretty much the same area as before. It's just slightly closer to the canyon, maybe, actually. It's a lot more climbing, though, which is really obnoxious. So much climbing. So much climbing. I don't get it. If the terrain didn't update, why did the skybox update? Because that is the new skybox. There's the Milky Way. Don't ask me to find this uh, solar system in Elite Dangerous. I don't think they made that crossover. 
slight adjustment where like like Sambi's like a navigator trying to give uh, Joffke a new heading as we're trying to find this stupid crater so that we could get that scan again and then go home right after we go into the canyon obviously we got to do the canyon canyon is pretty much half the reason we came here the other half being bragging rights uh wait How come it's way louder in the map view? Huh. Weird. Uh, one more heading adjustment, please. Thank you. Yeah, that ought to do it. Might even turn on stability control or uh, possibly heading control. That or we just put some waypoints in and just watch it go. Do those even work? Uh, let's find out. It does. Okay. So we'll put that waypoint in. And route waypoints. Uh It might be in heading control. Uh, for now, just remove that. Alright. Speaking of heading. Easy now. Try not to tip it over. This rover got a lot more fragile for some reason. It's an extremely reliable rover, though. You can flip this thing over, like, 50 times and it'll keep driving. Brakes! Stop with the speed control to hit the brakes. Uh, no! Don't break arm, please. Hit the brakes! Oh boy. It's gonna break on this roll, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? It always does! This is why we can't have nice things! Okay. Keep the brakes on. Just. Just gonna. Okay. Jesus Christ. Now forward slightly. And stop. I think this one's bigger than the other crater that we encountered. Scanner, the laser beam. The drill, drill, yes, the drill, thank God. And the microscope. All right, how much power did we burn from that? A lot, yeah. 
as you as per standard protocol with the uh, two smart arm configuration we burn a lot of power by doing that but as long as we keep driving we should be fine Ugh, don't break it actually bring our speed down please until I figure out what direction we're supposed to be going. We're supposed to be going that way. Ugh. Of course, now we're on a hill, which means we have to be extremely careful with the turning. And given these two's faces, I think they realize that. Ugh. All right, the uh, canyon ridge is starting to come into view here. Let's see if we can add some waypoints. One there, and then one right at the lip. Drive. Shut up and drive. ETA 25 minutes. Oh my god. At this speed, yeah. But we can speed that up. It's a 6.1 kilometer drive and we're moving at 4.5 meters per second which is a very comfortable speed. The thing can get speeds up to about uh, the range of, say, mid-range cars. But we're going to try to not break it in the low gravity. We're also going to do some science once we get down into that uh, canyon that is now an obsession of ours. Part of me wants to drive all the way through the canyon, but that would take way too much time and it would just add unnecessary days onto the mission. And like I said, the Bopple mission is already in the works. I gotta go back and design a tanker. A new tanker. Another new tanker. Will this be like the third tanker? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of a quick cut here until we get uh, to the point where we get to uh, waypoint one. And in the meantime, I'm gonna find more interesting things to talk of, to to talk at you guys with, because this video is getting really boring. All right, we've been following this route for a little bit now, and I'm starting to think this waypoint system is a little bit just might have a very minor case of being completely broken, because see. Cars here and our canyon start point is right there. So, also, it has not changed like at all. Let me see. If I remove this one, what happens? It has not changed course. Um,. Let's try getting rid of the heading control, maybe. Uh, remove this. Tell you what, put one waypoint uh, there. And drive. Oh, Jesus, what did you guys just do right there? It looked like you were about to break something. 
Uh. Okay. I guess. I guess we're back on course. Okay. So it's uh, it's 17 minutes and 35 seconds until arrival. Uh, the terrain is still kind of iffy. So we're not going to touch the speed. And we're just going to keep going closer and closer to the canyon. Just to see what we can see. And at long last, we are here at the edge of the canyon. Okay. Looking back at, like, seeing it like this. Yeah, I, you, you would imagine you could drive down that. But now that I'm here, and now that I'm staring it in the face... I'm starting to think that that is the most idiotic thing we could possibly ever do. Oh, boy. Okay. Go ahead, hit the brake, please. Turn off heading control. Brakes. Oh, my God, for the love of God, hit the brakes. Do not drive any further down into this canyon. Hit the damn break. <sighs> yeah, looking at this, that's huge. Okay. Uh, let's get... Let's get, uh... Uh, that's a report from the Midlands. Samby, you're the scientist. Why don't you, uh... You know what? Why don't you do the honors? Uh, go on, get out, get out of your chair, stretch your legs for once in your life. Also, quick save because if we lose this here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, all right, go ahead and stow that data in the trunk. Next, I want to see. No, that's still from the Midlands. Okay. We got to jump. And that is a big one. Oh boy, okay. Get the jetpack. And here we go. Make sure we're maintaining our uh, forward momentum a little bit. It might just be more beneficial to roll down into the canyon. How much fuel we just use up? Eh, not a whole lot. All right. EVA report. Overwrite. We're still over the Midlands. Let's see how deep it wants us to go into this canyon. This place is huge. And we're and we're still looking at the the smaller part of it. It goes down way further than this. Here we go, just above Dres's canyons. Okay. So that's just above the canyon. Let's go ahead and slow it down. Easy now. Easy. We've been moving, we've been pushing the throttle forward a lot. And we're going to need a lot of uh, power to get out of here. Easy, easy. Oh boy. Nope, nope, there he goes. Oh, come on, you didn't hit the ground that hard, Sam. Sam. You all right, Sam? All right. And you're up. All right, EVA report. Drez's Canyons. Get a sample. All right. 
And the flag. Aha! Raise the flag for the Hatter Space Program. The canyon! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Plaque text. It's really, really deep. And this flag isn't even all the way down. Period. Done. You dancing? You a star? <laughs> so, it looks like a bit of some terrain problems here. It sort of has like a hill here, another hill here, as it continues down and you go deeper into the canyon. The deepest part seems to be around here. It sort of levels out here. Like that, we could absolutely drive into. But I will not drive all the way around the canyon. That will that would be masochistic. No, we're we're fine here on our little island. Okay, now how do we get out? <laughs> Easy. We just gotta gain a lot of altitude. A lot of altitude. Okay, now just keep gaining. Maintain forward momentum. Yeah, this is more advanced canyon diving. Regular canyon diving involved a Kerbal on the Mun who would use about one EVA monopropellant out of five to like get him some distance like sort of down the canyon a ways and then what he would do is he would roll down to the base of the canyon and then jetpack out there was a lot of physical trauma involved and frankly it wasn't very safe <laughs> in fact it was probably the most unsafe thing the headhunter space program had going at the time like these kerbals would be hitting the ground at like 30 meters per second nobody died which is um, which is the miraculous part but consider this we just used up a lot of eva monopropellant hey what's up joffkey you want to try it because you're a daredevil. You could do it. Take advantage of the fact that you're that you're the adventurous type and you're here on this mission even though you've been everywhere, actually. Crater scan from Dred's surface. Oh, that was us pulling it out of the arm. Right. Okay, well, we still need a scan from a regular old Dres meteorite. So we might as well go get one of those since we're over here. Lovely little Drez meteorite. There's one right over this hill. I can see it. It's right there. Let's just drive over and grab it. Actually, that one's on the way back to the ship, though. You know what? We're already going this way, and turning is a meanie. So, hit up the speed control. Try to lower our speed back to our uh, 4.5. There we go. See, now that we're at 4.5, when we go down a hill like this, it's not going to completely wreck our suspension. It's not going to send us flying through the air. And it's, not gonna, and it's especially not going to flip us over. Which is another th problem that we've been having. This rover's kind of top-heavy now with all of the equipment. But the thing is, on low-gravity planets, 
It has a nasty, 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 nasty habit of flipping over. Like, we'll lose communication antennas. The arm. We've lost the arm. Kerbals will fall out of the car. We've seen that too. The lights. The lights will break. That happened on uh, Duna. During the Duna mission, the car flipped and uh, we lost one of the headlights. Really good headlights. We're trying to break, but I feel like we're not getting anywhere. All right, just get us a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. Yeah, just a little bit closer. Okay. Oh, you're just you're getting right up and right up next to it. I'm wondering what's the range on that laser. Maybe we'll head to Jewel next for the, you know, given that next up we have the Bopple mission. There's one smaller canyon way over here, but obviously this one, this is the favorite one that everybody looks at. Because it is the most interesting feature on the surface of Drez. And otherwise... Not all that fantastic world. It doesn't exactly have much going for it. But this is where we decided to go. For our first long, longer range mission. Well, either way, that'll do it for the Head to Space program this week. We're back, finally. Hopefully for a while this time. Because we got to conquer this game before the second one comes out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. And no, don't worry. I'm not going to subject you to the absolute torturous, boring, boring, boring drive back to the ship. Come